Hey guys, what's up? In this video, we'll be going through how to stop automatic redirects on Google, Firefox, and Edge browsers. When it comes to hunting down and removing browser hijackers and redirects viruses that might be responsible for your behavior, there are very few security software that will do it better than Malwarebytes. But the only difference is Malwarebytes free scan is just as effective as most of the premium options out there. So what we'll do is we'll first do a deep scan from Malwarebytes and uh, try to find out if there's any of such a virus that might be causing these redirects to happen. So you can follow the article in the description of this video that goes through the complete details of how you can uh, do that through Malwarebytes. So once the scan is completed with the threats eliminated, it's important to uninstall and reinstall the affected browsers. This is required because not all the browsers will have the capacity to regenerate the affected files after an infection has been dealt with. So now we'll uh, dive into how we can uninstall these different browsers so head over and hit a windows key along with r to open up the run dialog then type in appwiz.cpl and hit enter this would open up the programs and features screen now once the screen is open scroll down and look for mozilla firefox uh, right click that and select uninstall so this would begin the uninstallation process do the same for other browsers like firefox chrome and opera these methods might not work for microsoft edge because you won't be able to uninstall that in windows 10. So we'll actually remove the app data folder and forcing our operating system to recreate it from scratch. So to do that, hit Windows key along with R to open up the run dialog and then type in C colon backslash users backslash percentage username percentage backslash app data backslash local backslash packages. So this string right there and then hit enter. Inside the packages folder, scroll down through the list of applications and locate the folder that is named microsoft.microsoftedge.com. A certain key after that. Once you find that, simply delete that folder. Now press Windows key along with R to open up another run dialog. Then type in PowerShell and click Ctrl plus Shift plus Enter. That would uh, open up an elevated PowerShell prompt. When prompted by a user account control, simply click Yes to grant administrative privileges. Then typing the following command that you see on the screen to reinstall Microsoft Edge. Once Microsoft Edge is reinstalled, restart your PC to allow operating system to recreate necessary components of Microsoft Edge. Now, once these browsers are uninstalled and reinstalled, the next step is to disable redirects in your browsers. So we'll go through different steps for each of these browsers. So first of all, starting with disabling redirects on Google Chrome, uh, go to the top right corner and go to settings in Google Chrome and then look for advanced menu. Once you're in the advanced menu, Make your way to the privacy and security tab and ensure that the toggle associated with safe browsing is enabled. So in case you are still experiencing browser redirects, you can go on and install a Chrome plugin that is called Skip Redirect Browser. Now for Firefox, simply open that and click on the action button in the top right corner of the screen. Click options. So after that, inside the Firefox options, go to privacy and security tab and scroll down to the permissions tab. When you get there, make sure that the checkbox related to block pop-up windows is checked. This step will prevent Firefox from opening redirected pop-ups windows. Then scroll down to security tab and check the box that says block dangerous and deceptive content. Doing this will ensure that harmful redirects are disabled from the get-go. In case this doesn't work out, you can also install a third-party plugin named Skip Redirects and that would uh, actually block redirects entirely. Now moving on to the Microsoft Edge, uh, open up Microsoft Edge and go to settings. Once you are in settings, head over to smart and security tab and make sure that the toggles associated with Windows Defender smart screen and block pop-ups are enabled. Simply restart your browser and this should take its effect. So we hope that these steps will resolve the issue for you guys. Make sure that you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.